All right, Shalom. This is the brother Yahweh Allah from GMS Chicago. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone who rule well. And salutations to you, Akim, out there pushing out this word in truth and in sincerity. <clears throat> and, um, excuse me, basically, uh, this is a, a response to the brother uh, Ratazawanya, uh, his, his video. Um, uh, what was is that um, love much, uh, do the work, YLTP, year of the push, you know, and, you know, I'm going to go straight into it, starting off at uh, 1 John 1 and 6, because the the thing is, uh, the, the brother titled it uh, love much, but, you know, to, to a regular person in the street, they don't know what, what love really is, so I'm going to read it right here, it's uh, uh, the book of 2 John 1 and 6. And this is love, that ye walk after his commandments. This is the commandment that as ye have heard from the beginning, ye shall walk in. So it's talking about all the law, statutes, and commandments, man. You know, it says the one that we had heard from the beginning. That's that's really what love is, man. You know, first and foremost, uh, that's how that's how you show the Lord that you love Him. You know, because the word love is a is a, is a is a a, a verb. It's not a it's, it's a verb, man, which means you have to you have to act it, uh, act on it, man, and uh, and and show it, man, by your deeds, you know. And, but you know, I had one of the the laws lined up right here, on what it's tell us to do. It says, Leviticus nineteen and seventeen: Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor, and not suffer sin upon him. You know, because if you see your your, your brother uh, sinning, it's, it's the equivalent of uh, of seeing your brother uh, like uh, sick or ill, man, to have a virus. And uh, us knowing the law, we actually have the remedy. It, and it's in the form of rebuke, man. You know, you rebuke thy neighbor um, so that you won't suffer that sin to be upon him, you know, so that he, uh, you could re uh, rebuke him and then he could... Uh, he, he could correct himself, man. You know, and this is one of the laws, man. So, you know, first and foremost, we're showing that we love the, the Lord. We're going to rebuke our brother. But if you if you want to show your brother that you love him, you rebuke him. You admonish him, man. You um, you build him up in the spirit, man, to the best of your ability. You know, to, 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 through this, ultimately through the spirit of your how about Shimmy Shai, man. You know? But this is, uh, you know, what the brother's saying, man, we got to do this work, and that's part of the work. You know, admonishing, rebuking brothers, teaching brothers, going out there in the highways and the byways, you know. It says right here, um, Proverbs 9 and 9, Give instruction to a wise man, and he will yet be wiser. Teach a just man, and he will increase in learning. You know, because um, really the elect, the elect are going to be all wise, man. You know, and, and that's that's... Uh, and wise men are gonna cleave onto learning. So if you rebuke your your, your brother, you know, um, you know, it's it's a blessing that you give him, man. You know, he will yet be wiser. You know, a just man, and he will increase in learning. So it's really a service, man. It's a service of love. You know, when you rebuke a brother, when you when you teach him, you know, uh, shit, going going out there in the highways and the byways is a service unto the people, you know, the, the, because, uh, well, you know, we're out there for the elect, man, you know, to, 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 to be that opening so they could come back into the fold, into the marriage of Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, man, they could stop living their wicked ways, man, you know, and I actually, I have it right here, this is uh, Isaiah 58 and 1, it says, cry out loud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet, and show my people their transgressions and the house of Jacob their sins. Now, why, why are we why are we showing the people their transgressions? Why are we showing Jacob their sins? You know, it's not so we could talk shit to them or like, you know, you know, um, just to get one up on, over them. Man, it's it's a service of love, man. Going back to Leviticus nineteen seventeen, you should rebuke your neighbor to not suffer sin upon him. That's why we go out into the highways and the byways every day, every week, man, you know, 
that that's why it's part of the work, man. It's, it's part of the requirement. These videos also a, a requirement. You know, we're we're uh, blowing the trumpet uh, in the world wide web, man. You know, all of the all all of the, all of these uh, actions are, are an actions of love, man. And what did uh, Yahweh Shai uh, say uh, to uh, to to Paul, man? He said, "If you love me, feed my feed my flock, man." You know, that's real love, man. Showing people the way of righteousness. So long have uh, this world been uh, in darkness, living in wickedness. And now that uh, the truth of Yahweh Hashem Shai is out here, the best thing that you can do for him is show him the light. Give him that, that cold water, man, that they've been so, uh, um, that, that they've been thirsty for, man. You know? <sighs> This is uh, Matthew chapter 18, verse 12. <clears throat> How think ye, if a man have a hundred sheep, and one of them be gone astray, the, doth he not leave ninety and nine and go into the mountains and seek that which is gone astray? You know, this, this is a parable, uh, basically talking about a shepherd that has a hundred sheep, and if one leaves, he's going to leave that ninety-nine behind to go find that other one. It says, uh, and if so be that he find it, verily I say unto you, he rejoiceth more of that sheep than of that ninety and nine which went not astray. You know, and not and nowadays, you know, like Yahweh Shai said, he he, he sent the apostles to the lost, uh, to the uh, uh, to to the uh, lost sheep of the house of Israel, man. You know, we are that lost sheep right now. Israel is lost, man. They're in darkness. You know. They they're out here in the streets thinking they're so called uh, uh, Negroes, thinking they're black, thinking they're Native American, thinking they're Latinos, you know, thinking that they're less than this uh, this base ass man, uh, the so called white man, and these heathens, you know, they're in darkness right now. So if it um if if an, if one of them brothers be converted, it, it is a greater joy, man, you know. It's uh he rejoices more of that sheep than of the ninety and nine which went not astray, man. So it's it's a great service of love, man, to go out there and and, and through the spirit of Yahweh Bashimi Al Shai bring bring them uh bring the remnant back, man. You know. <sighs> yeah, it kind of says here. Even so, it is not the will of your Father which is in heaven that one of these little ones should perish. You know. That's that's the love that the that, that ultimately uh, the Yahweh Bashimi Al Shai uh, opened up to the elect of Israel, man. He he opened up the doors of repentance for us, man, because all of us had gone astray, you know. And and shit, if it wasn't for Yahweh Shai dying for us, we we wouldn't be forgiven of our past uh our past sins, man, the transgressions of the law, you know, and uh, and and really. Now the Lord is using us to go and do the same, man. Let people know that that this word is out here, man. This truth is out here. You know that the for so long lies have been pushed. That finally, finally now truth is out here, man. So it's a it's a great service and honor, really, to come out here and and preach this word, man. You know, in in, in truth, man. You know, no holes. <clears throat> this first Peter chapter four verse seven, but the end of of all things is at hand, you know the last day. Be ye therefore sober and watch unto prayer, and above all things have fervent charity among yourselves, for charity shall cover the multitude of sins. You know, and we go into that word charity. Um, right here. This um. Uh, this charity, affection, goodwill, love. And we went into what the word love meant. Brotherly love, benevolence. You know, and, and what's the what's the what's the best goodwill that we can have onto a brother? Is is to build them up, you know, with with what what the Lord has taught us, man. Teach to your brothers, man. Teach teach to uh, teach on the highways and the byways, man, teaching your videos. You know? Cause that's goodwill, man, hoping that that, that uh, an Israelite uh, wake up, you know. Shit, you you you're giving them um a water that they shall never thirst again, man. You know. 
you know, there's no greater love than 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 uh, you know, the one the one than what the Lord did for us, man. <laughs> Which it says, you know, that he should lay down his life for his brethren. You know, and that's exactly what he did. You know, so you know, ho ho hopefully uh, the the brothers was edified, man. Uh, the elect out there was edified. Um, you know, we got to keep pushing out this word for, for for our nation, man. You know, for for our brother, our brotherhoods, man. Uh, raise up them breaches that uh, Esau and these heathens have done, have uh, placed against us. You know, so so that the kingdom of heaven can can start to be built within us. But you know, with that, I'm gonna give uh, again. All glory and honor to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Double honor to the apostles of Great Millstone. And salutation to Yaakim pushing out this word. With them say Shalom.